What's good everyone, welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to cover a 200k challenge account that I passed. Without making the video too long, I'm going to break down the two pairs that did help me pass the challenge. So before we begin, I will put a screenshot on the screen right now of the phase one analytics. And I'll put a screenshot of the email that I was sent after passing phase one on the screen right now. Okay, let's begin. So the first pair that I utilized was GBPUSD. Below this low, we have sell side liquidity resting. And you guys can see that we failed to trade lower. So this was a double bottom. This and double tops are one of the best areas to target for liquidity. And I was expecting these two gaps to be left open. And for this green up close candle to hold price and we trade lower. So this was our order block. As you guys can see from this whole structure that this is very choppy. All of the price action inside of this range is a seek and destroy profile. And I've mapped out all the liquidity pools that were targeted inside of this range. So when we do have a seek and destroy profile, we want to measure out the external low to the external high. And as you guys can see, the best shorts will form above 50% and the best longs will form below 50%. This is a premium and discount inside a seek and destroy profile. So why am I bringing the seek and destroy profile up? On Friday we had NFP and that pushed price lower. And then we made this sell side liquidity pool. So for price to trade higher again, in my opinion was very unlikely because we had already accumulated orders. And over here this was an SMT between Euro USD. This is the view that I was going into on Monday and I was trading the London session kill zone. So from the 4 hour chart I moved on to the 15 minute and all I did was wait for midnight open. Ok on the 15 minute chart you guys can see this is the fractal that I was working with. This red candle right here this is the midnight opening price. So as you guys know the best shorts will form above midnight and the best longs will form below midnight. My attention was drawn to this fair value gap right here. From this candles low to this candles high this was the inefficiency made in price because all of this price action when we traded higher this filled in the gap so the range from this low to this high this was the only inefficiency in price action and i wanted to see if we could reach into there then we have a sharp turn or a shift in the delivery so after the 15 minute chart all i did was move on to the five minute and waited for price to trade into this area so on the five minute chart this is what was going through my head as we are above midnight opening price this is a judas swing so all of this price action right here is a judas so what I mean by that, this is the false move and as we are above midnight and we have just rebalanced the inefficiency fully, this is where I was looking for selling opportunities and I moved on to the 1 minute chart. As you can also see that we have been building all of these failure swings throughout price action. So there was a lot of sell side liquidity build up and of course we had sell side liquidity resting below this red line. On the 1 minute chart you guys can see that this is a clear market maker sell model. Here we have the original consolidation. All I did here was wait for price to trade lower and we trade past this red candle. Once we trade away from this red candle, I just measured from this high to the low of this red candle. These were my projections. So this is where I was working with and taking profit. I sold inside of this fair value gap when we returned and my stop loss was above that high. And my full take profit was at minus four standard deviation. So this is where we got tagged in and I just wait for price to either take me out or hit the full take profit at minus four standard deviation. And if you guys have watched my standard deviation video, I do cover where price is likely to reverse and why. I will leave a link to that on the screen right now. But as you guys can see that we take out the sell side liquidity pool and we take out the sell side resting below these lows. And finally I'm going to cover AUDUSD. This was the final pair that helped me pass the account. So if you look at the external low made right here to the external high, you can see that price was in a premium. As well as being in a premium, you can see that we took buy side liquidity above this high. Once we took the buy side liquidity, I was looking at all of these failure swings. So below failure swings, this is where liquidity is resting. And then all I did was wait for a fair value gap to form. So once we had this candle print right here, this is the area that I was looking at. And my stop loss was above this high and I was targeting the sell side liquidity. So if I take you guys onto the five minute chart, you can see that the fractal is much more clear. And all I did was wait for price to return into the green shaded area. As well as that, you guys can see that this is, as well as that, you guys can see that this is the midnight opening price candle. I want to be a seller above midnight and this fair value gap was above midnight. 
and my stop loss is in a perfect position because price has already rebalanced this area and we have taken buy side liquidity. To offset the buy side liquidity, we do it below old lows in forms of failure swings right here. So then I just wait for price to tag us in and we stayed inside of a consolidation until we reached New York session. So we consolidated because we had 10 a.m. news. Usually before a high impact news event, price will like to consolidate and trip traders into the wrong direction. All of this consolidation right here, this is affecting traders who lack true direction of the market. So what I mean by this is traders that don't know where price is likely to go. So they are buying and selling here. However, as we know that the market is bearish and we have liquidity resting below these lows, this is what I was waiting for and this consolidation did not affect me. This was just price distorting time ahead of the 10 a.m. news event. So this dotted line represents the news event that was going to come out. And you guys can see the price is inside of a consolidation. However, right before the news event, we trade higher. This trips traders into believing that the market is going to continue rallying at the news event. And you, and you guys can see right at the news event, we trade lower and take out the sell stops. So if you do follow my Twitter page, I have done a chart breakdown of this. I will leave a link to that in the description down below. And if you guys want to join my free Telegram community, there is a link to that down below as well. I hope you guys found this video insightful. I will continue the weekly uploads. Make sure to leave any more comments down below of topics that you want me to cover. And as always, thanks for watching.